When you think of the year 2007, what movies usually come to mind? The films that most people typically think about are No Country for Old Men and There Will Be Blood, and rightfully so that you should think about them as they are both top tier motion pictures. But with all the buzz surrounding these two movies, there was one cinematic gem that sadly was left overlooked and unappreciated. The film I will be talking about today is Andrew Dominic's The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, starring actors the likes of Brad Pitt, Casey Affleck, Sam Rockwell, and Jeremy Renner. Most notable of the bunch are Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck because of their fantastic character portrayals. Brad Pitt plays the infamous American outlaw Jesse James, which so happens to stand among Brad Pitt's best performances, if not his best, only competing with his roles in The Tree of Life and Inglorious Bastards. Brad Pitt is not an actor most people would think could play a good Jesse James, but his presence graces the silver screen with such nuanced brilliance that anyone who thought otherwise would be forced to reconsider their stance. Brad Brad Pitt's Jesse James is a cold and bitter man who has grown into deep regret over who he has become. Most interestingly, Brad Pitt has said that in the entirety of his extensive acting career that the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford remains his absolute favorite from his filmography. Starring opposite of Brad Pitt is Casey Affleck, who is equally commendable, playing Robert Ford, an ambitious young man who is aspiring to become like Jesse James as he sees him as the pinnacle of American greatness. The dynamic these two actors have playing alongside each other is nothing short of special. In every scene therein, it's instant cinematic gold. One scene that comes to mind is when Jesse and Robert are eating dinner together after Jesse has come home from a trip. This scene happens to be one of the most memorable in the entire film purely due to the chemistry between Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck. Apart from the incredible performances of the actors involved, there are many other praiseworthy elements to be found, one of those being the breathtaking cinematography. Roger Deakins serves as the cinematographer, photographing the western landscape in ways that have never been seen before in the cinematic medium. What Deakins is able to capture through his camera here is nothing short of astonishing, and can only be described as ethereal beauty. He pioneered the use of modified lenses known as deaconizers, which emulate the look of vintage photographs by adding chromatic aberration and vignetting around the edges of the frame. Not only is this the best cinematography of Roger Deakins' career, but is also some of the best cinematography in film history. While discussing this film's praiseworthy elements, the score by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis cannot be left overlooked. The musical duo compose a hauntingly beautiful soundtrack with antique instruments that is sure to stick in your mind for days. Pieces of the score are matched to certain characters, amplifying the already phenomenal performances from the cast. There is a special element to this soundtrack that makes American history come to life while you are viewing the film. One could describe it as being almost extrasensory in nature. When it's all said and done, this motion picture is one of a kind. It is so unique that there is not another film even mildly comparable to its magnificence. It's a deeply personal and moving character study, with thoughtful writing and narration from Hugh Ross that is so perfectly toned it becomes novel-like. Andrew Dominic's direction is slow, calculated, and executed so carefully that it can be seen throughout every frame of the film. The word masterpiece is one of the most overused words in modern culture. When I call the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford a masterpiece, I say that with the utmost seriousness. And I think it's a tragedy that we have yet to see the extended cut of this film, which has been murmured about for the last 16 years. This film is not just a western masterpiece about the death of Jesse James, but it is also a film about the death of the Wild West, and shockingly, a fable of the redemption of the most infamous outlaw in American history. The assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford is true cinema.